Henry said to his captain, A man ain't nothing but a man. And before I let that steel drill beat me down, I'll die with the hammer in my hand. Lord, Lord, I'll die with the hammer in my hand. John Henry was a driver on the mountain, and his head was a flashing fire. And the last words I heard that poor boy say, Give me cool drink of water for I die, Lord, Lord, give me cool drink of water for I die. Choppers, keep an eye on the Golden Spike. Don't let anyone near it. Ah, Rangers, good to see you. People have told me how you saved the Parker boy from drowning. It is an honor to speak to such brave heroes. How can I help you? I normally don't approve of Topekans traveling with outsiders, but in this case there is no loss to the tribe. Help with what? If you wish to help us with outside threats, then you are welcome. But we can handle our internal conflicts on our own, thank you. Stay out of it. I am very tired of telling it. But if I must, once the Atchisons and the Topekans worked together in harmony. But then Casey James became angry with us because he believed the Golden Spike was Atchison property and that we'd stolen it from them and grown wealthy because of it. He told his people to sabotage the rails causing our first train to wreck. We have been at war ever since. They do not fight with honor. They sabotage and plant bombs like cowards and weaklings. It is only because I continue to hope for peace that I have not killed them all. Instead, I make examples of their worst offenders in hopes the rest will learn. We are a peaceful people, honest traders who once crossed the wastes like gods upon our iron horse. And we will again, as soon as we have taken back from the Atchisons what is rightfully ours. The leader of the Atchisons. Once we were friends. We worked side by side. He to maintain the rails, I to maintain the trains. Now he is my enemy and uses the weapons of a coward. A quick death is too good for him. The sacred golden spike was given to our forefathers before the apocalypse by the hammer god John Henry, and is a symbol of our right to rule all the rail tribes. It is our most sacred relic. The Adjacents believe it is theirs alone, but they are liars and shall never have it. How could I steal it when it was ours to begin with? And besides, the Golden Spike is all our property, Topekans and Atchisons alike. We don't keep it in our town hall because we want to keep it out of Atchison hands. We keep it here because the hall is secure, unlike their impoverished little camp. The display case is locked. And my choppers are on guard at all times, and will attack anyone who attempts to take it. They are my personal guard, men so loyal that they severed their left arms when I lost mine in the great train wreck. Yes, to honor me in the arm I lost in the wreck. Do not think it makes them less dangerous. They can still kick your asses. The Atchison's greatest sabotage. They smashed the ties, and our train derailed. I was driving that train, and lost my arm in the wreck. Now I can never drive again. 
I will never forgive the Atchisons for that. It's impossible. Even the strongest man needs two arms to drive a train. The first of our tribe, and the greatest. A fighter of robots and a driver of steel, who laid all the rails you have ever seen and died with his hammer in his hand. Lord, Lord. I told you before, our private affairs are not your concern. Besides, I doubt it's possible. Once we worked hand in hand with the Atchisons. We tended the trains, they tended the rails. It grieves me that we fight, and we have tried to make peace since then, but they continue their aggressions, stealing essential parts, planting bombs, and so the feud continues. They do not. Another reason I still try to make peace with them. We haven't the skill to fix the rails, and it will take time to learn. We keep hoping the Atchisons will stop their atrocities and return to the bargaining table so that we can work together again. But it doesn't seem to matter how many of them I hang. They still won't see sense. Of course I am! I was driving that train personally, and it was not I who wrecked it. And the Atchisons didn't stop there. Now they've stolen essential parts from our second train, and we can no longer travel or trade. They have stolen our livelihood. Until the brake shoe is returned, we are at war. No. We will get it back on our own. We do not require outside assistance. Our greatest threat at the moment is these... Rail thieves, who have set up a hideout somewhere near the Atchison camp, and who are ambushing anyone who dares travel the road between us. How are we supposed to conduct a war with our bitterest enemies when these bandits attack our war parties? It is a great inconvenience. Now that is the true spirit of the Desert Rangers. Protecting the wastes from lawless scum, not telling law-abiding citizens how to solve their problems. Thank you, Rangers. I would welcome your help in this matter. They don't rob trains. They steal rails and sell them for scrap. Now they hover above us like buzzards, waiting for us and the Atchisons to kill each other so they can swoop in and scrap our train cars and our locomotives. Filthy scavengers. <sighs> it was the Atchisons, wasn't it? Their bombs have been killing and maiming us by the dozens. That we once considered them brothers is unthinkable. They claim we've stolen their precious golden spike, but it was never theirs to begin with. Our conflicts with them will not end until each and every Atchison hangs. I'll have one of my choppers assist the poor man. Keep out of our business, Rangers. This is Chief Kekaba. My choppers just found another Atchison bomb buried near the water tank. It has been defused, but there may be others. Be on your guard, Topekans. The Atchisons hate us for our quality of life, and will stop at nothing to bring us down to their level. <laughs> 